this whole mango dragon fruit lemonade Starbucks refresher drink. Uh, it's pretty intense. <laughs> well, the other day I had a client ask me about this, so I just wanted to film a little impromptu video. I had not planned on doing this whatsoever, but this drink has gained a lot of popularity, so I just want to talk about it today and why I recommend not having this and not including this in your routine. Hey guys, Sophie and I are here right now. If you don't know who I am, my name's Autumn and I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's in nutrition and human performance. And on this channel, I'm typically talking about just ways to make you feel good again. And this mango dragon fruit lemonade Starbucks refresher is not going to make you feel good again. So I just want to do a quick rundown of this. This will be a very fast video. So I'm looking at the actual ingredients and the nutrition facts right now. So according to Starbucks, the ingredients are uh, super intriguing. So listen to this. The ingredients include ice as number one. Second is the mango dragon fruit refreshers base. You might automatically think right there, okay, this base will include mango and dragon fruit, right? No. Okay, so the ingredients for this mango dragon fruit refresher base, water, sugar, white grapefruit juice concentrate, natural flavors, citric acid, natural green coffee flavor, riboticide A, which is like a stevia extract. So already it's like, there's no mango or dragon fruit. It has a ton of other stuff in there that's a little scary, like just pure sugar and the grapefruit juice concentrate, which is gonna be pure sugar. Uh, natural flavors, which as you guys know, not natural. <laughs> Definitely check out this video or this video, wherever it is on that topic. Okay, so continuing on. Now it says lemonade is also one of the ingredients. In the lemonade is water, lemon juice, sugar, and lemon oil. So not, not I mean sugar, obviously bad, but not as aggressively terrible as as the dragon fruit refreshers base. And then the last thing, the, the least ingredient there is, freeze dried dragon fruit pieces. So we get some dragon fruit, even though it's the smallest amount of an ingredient that's in there for this dragon fruit drink. So just looking at the ingredients, you guys should already be seeing that this is sketchy. It's not going to be making you feel too good with all of that sugar. But just to put in this, but just to put this into perspective, let's now take a look at the actual nutrition facts. And we'll get the nutrition facts now, which tells us the amount of calories and sugars, etc. So the amount of calories is 140. If you are a typical calorie counter, you might look at that and be like, okay, it's about 140, that's not too bad. Which is why I do not recommend counting calories. One of the many reasons why also have a whole video on that. Zero grams fat, which if you're all part of the low fat trend, then that also might be like, now we get into the carbohydrates and we're at a whopping 33 grams carbohydrates in this one drink. And you might be saying like, hey, 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 what about fiber? Fiber can account to that. So how much fiber is there? There's one gram, one gram of fiber. 30 grams of those carbohydrates are just sugar, just straight sugar. Which, just to put that into perspective for, you know, two pieces of Reese's, that's about 21 grams of sugar, it looks like, and this drink has 30. Something also crazy that I just want to point out is that one of the biggest ties to obesity is actually drinking sugar-filled drinks. So things like sodas or drinks like this, because this is just a straight like shotgun approach to adding in sugar straight to your blood vessels, to your veins. Nothing's really slowing down that release of the blood sugar. It's just going straight in. So not only is there no slowing of the release of that, but it's also going to be a large amount of sugar. This is a pretty hefty amount of sugar here. We're talking about more than a candy bar. If you're thinking about going to Starbucks and getting this, opt for some black coffee, some just unsweetened green tea, or go home and make yourself a keto coffee and get the recipe right here. That's going to serve your goals so much more and make you feel better, so much better than this mango dragon fruit lemonade Starbucks refresher. All right guys, if you love the science fact information, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I come out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.